learn how to calibrate your e-steps on an under three and under five minutes. Hi, I'm Melinda and welcome to Irvine 3D. On this channel, we're gonna give you tips on 3D printing and show you how to solve your 3D printing issues. So be sure to hit the subscribe and like button below and turn on notifications so you can get more helpful tips on 3D printing. In this video, I'm gonna give you step-by-step -step directions on how to calibrate your e-steps on an Ender 3. Calibrating your e-steps will ensure proper extrusion rates so it's not over or under extruding your filament. Over extrusion will cause sag all over your prints and under extrusion will cause your prints to be very brittle. You'll typically want to change your e-step adjustments when you're building a 3D printer, changing your extruder, or if you're noticing over or under extrusion. All right, so let's get started. First, heat the nozzle to 200 degrees. After the nozzle is heated, remove the filament by pushing in and pulling it out. And detach the C-clip. Then push in the clamp and remove the Bowden tube from the extruder. Push some filament back through the extruder. and clip the end of the filament so that it is flushed with the extruder. Now extrude 100 millimeter of filament. Clip off the extruded filament. Now measure the filament Jot down the current e-step value from the printer. Now plug the current e-step and the amount of filament extruded into the following formula. With the new calculated ESEP value, set the value in the configuration. Be sure to save your settings under Store Settings. Now, reinsert the Bowden tube and secure it with the C-clip. All right, so there you have it. I hope this video will help you calibrate your E-steps on your Ender 3. If you have any questions about anything we've mentioned today, please leave a comment below. And if you have any topics you'd like us to see in our future videos, please let us know. And by the way, if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe, or turn on the notifications so you can see all our videos that's coming to you. If you have any products you want us to print for you, you can always give us a call or contact us. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.